Hello everyone. Welcome back to Maxim Automation. In my last video, we have seen how to run our test in parallel to save the execution time. We have seen the use of parallelizable attribute to run the test cases in parallel. And we use the parallel scope as all in my last video. So today let's see what are the other options of parallel scope which we can use and how the parallel execution scope changes when we use these attributes. So far, we have executed the test in parallel, which is available in a single class. Now let's see how to run the test in parallel, which are available in different classes. So we have this login test class. And in this class, we have one test method available as invalid login. To run the test of this class in parallel also, we need to add the parallelizable attribute over here. And then the parallel scope dot all. Now when we run all the test, then the test of this class is also gonna run in parallel mode. So I'm gonna run all the test in parallel to see how they execute. And before that, let me comment the code inside the test methods for now as this will save the execution time. Also, let me comment the code for other test methods as well available in another class. Now, let's say if I remove the parallelizable attribute from this class and then if I run all the tests, then let's see how these tests are gonna run. Here you can see first this invalid login test started executing. And the test available in another class is waiting for the completion of the invalid login test method or the test method available in login test class. Now the invalid login test is completed and all the tests of the home test class started executing in parallel mode. So the class which contains the parallelizable attribute will only execute in parallel mode. The rest of the class or test methods of the class will execute in sequential order. Currently, these both classes are executed in sequential order. First, the method of this test class got executed and after the execution done for this class, then the second class is started executing the test available in this class. Now, let me add a few other tests in this login test class to see if I can run all the tests available in different classes in parallel. Let me name this method as test12. Then I'll create another test method. And let me name this test method as test13. So now we have three test methods in the login test class as well. And if I run both the test classes again, here you can see that first, this class is getting executed and the methods of this class are also executing in sequential order because we have not given a parallelizable attribute in this login test class. Now you can see when the execution for login test class is done, then the home test class is started executing. And they all are running in parallel because this class contains the parallelizable attribute. To support the parallel execution. Now let me add the parallelizable attribute in the login test class as well. And now let's see if I run all the tests again, then how they are going to execute. You can see here that all six test cases are running in parallel. 
So when we define the parallel scope dot all, then it means that the test and its descendants may be run in parallel with others at the same level. That's why these two tests and its test methods all executed in parallel. Now let's say for one class, I want to execute all the test methods in parallel. But for other test class, I don't want to run all the test methods in parallel, but I want that both classes should run in parallel. And to do that, I can update the parallel scope of my test class as self instead of all. When we define the parallel scope as self, then the test itself may be run in parallel with other tests, but the child of this test class, which are test methods, won't run in parallel. Now, if I run the test again, you can see that both login and home test classes are running in parallel, but the test methods of the login test class are not running in parallel because we have changed the scope of the login test class as self. Now, the next scope which we can use is children. And according to this scope, child test may be run in parallel with one another. Which means the child of this login test class will run in parallel, but this login test class won't run in parallel with another class. So let me run the test to see the behavior of children scope. You can see here children of this login test class are running in parallel. But this login test class itself is not running in parallel with the home test. So once the execution of the login test class is completed, then only the home test class will start running. Here you can see execution for the login test is done. And now home test class is running. So first these test methods got executed in parallel. And after that these test methods got executed in parallel. Now the last scope which is left is the fixture. And according to this scope, fixtures or test fixtures may be run in parallel with one another, but the descendants of the fixtures won't run in parallel. Now the question is, what are test fixtures? Test fixtures is the attribute that we use to mark a class which contains test and setup or tear down methods. The test fixture attribute is optional for non parameterized non generic fixtures so long as the class contains at least one method marked with the test test case or test case source attribute it will be treated as a test fixture so currently we have not given any test fixture attribute to these classes but they are automatically treated as test fixtures because we have at least one test method available in these classes now let me update the parallel scope as test fixture for both the classes. And if I run the test, then you can see both the test fixture or test classes start running in parallel, but their descendants or children are not running in parallel. Now, let me add the test fixture attribute to both the classes. And then also the execution behavior will be the same because by default it considers the test classes as test fixtures. Now, if I run the test again, then you can see. Again, both the test fixture or test classes start running in parallel and their descendants or children are not running in parallel. 
So this is how you can use different parallel scope based on your requirement. I hope you like this video. Please put your comments in the comment box. Also, please do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.